I believed. Rainer Maria Rilke wrote, Believe in a love that is being stored up for you like an inheritance, and have faith that in this love there is a strength and a blessing so large that you can travel as far as you wish without having to step outside it. Four years ago, I posted that, and I captioned it with this statement, quote, Believing, not settling. It's out there, and it's worth waiting for, unquote. Four years ago, I believed. Even though my heart had been shattered, I believed. Even after the battles, the loss, the lies, and the long, grueling road back to me that I found myself on, I believed. My friends said, Maybe you're not meant to have what you envision. My own son said, Mom, why are you so hung up on this? Most felt I was lucky to have just only survived the emotional and relational battle I'd been through the previous six years, and that any normal person wouldn't want to again jump into the pool that almost drowned her. But see, here's the thing. I'm not normal. I didn't want to survive. I wanted to thrive in every area. I wanted the relationship of my dreams, the life of my dreams, the adventure of my dreams, and the love of my dreams. And so I believed. With everything in me, I believed. I wouldn't let it go. I wouldn't give it up. I lived like it was on its way. I talked like it was on its way. I loved my life and all those who came into it as if it was right there. And when I was shown that a person or thing wasn't congruent with my path and my vision, I gently released it and looked ahead. And now, looking back, I see everyone I met and everything I experienced was all part of the path. Yes, there were times of discouragement and loneliness and sadness and disappointment. It was all part of it. I kept learning, mostly about myself. Through every storm, each time the dust settled, I kept coming back around to my belief. And after a time, what I knew was on its way was there, right in front of me. And the realization of those desires is even grander than I imagined. And it all continues to unfold, as I do. There's a scripture that says God will give you the desires of your heart. I don't look at that scripture the way most do. For me, it doesn't mean I get what I desire. My take is the actual desire is given. The desire itself is placed in your heart by something bigger than you. And that means if I believe it to be so and I operate according to that desire, that desire will come to pass. I don't believe the universe sets anyone up to fail. You have not been put here to fail. You were given that desire in order to realize it. And you need to read that as many times as it takes until you know it in your knower. Your desire is out there. What placed it there wants you to have it, and that is why it was given to your heart. It's waiting. It has all the time in the world for you to make up your mind and follow through with following your heart to its ultimate desire. So if you have a desire in you for something bigger than reasonable, greater than normal, over-the-top amazing, and it's burning in your soul, don't you dare give up on it. 
don't let anyone tell you that you should let it go. Don't be shamed into normalcy. And don't let your loneliness or discomfort or thoughts of what is reasonable and practical convince you to settle. Love your life and be thankful for what it is and for where you are right now. And then prepare yourself like it's on its way. Because it is. Believe. Expect it. Act as you will when you see it with your natural senses and accept what comes as part of the path to it.